Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner Studios, and with me today is Mayor T. Walt. Mayor, I appreciate you stopping in and keeping us up to date on what's going on. And I know you got something you want to uh, talk about here and, you know, like bring us up to date on uh, what's happening in the town and what we have to look forward to. Right. Uh, you know, I haven't had a, a, any press conference or anything. I sent out a, a public notice, uh, I believe, last week or week before right. in regards to things that were, we were doing. But we're trying to comply with all the state regulations that uh, Governor Northrum has sent down to us. We have closed all of our public buildings to the public. Uh, we're trying to protect our employees, and uh, and so so we're trying to comply with everything that that we've been, you know, do, supposed to be doing at this time. Uh, if you know, to tell the people that our town hall is not open to the public, but we still take the bills, we take the money through our web website, uh, drive through. We also take it by telephone and or we take it by a drop box that we have setting, you know, outside of our building where they can drop in their payments or whatever. Uh, other things that we we're doing, we're not going to be charging anybody any late fees at this point. Uh, and so that'll be a good thing at the, because we just don't know what's going to take place at the, in, right now in the future. So, so at this point, uh, we're just not, not charging anybody for late fees, whatever, whatever. Now, we will be sending out the notices for those late, late uh, payments, but uh, again, we're not going to charge any fees at that, at that. That's good. Yeah. We don't need any more financial impact, do we? I mean, it, it's affecting everybody. Restaurants have closed. Uh, the governor's pretty much shut down all non-essential. I can't even get a haircut. You know, like I don't have that much hair, but, you know. <laughs> Well, I was lucky enough. I got one last week yeah. before it was closed. Well, that, that'll so. probably last you two or three months. Two or three, at least a couple, two or three weeks. So, you so. know, we've shut down the restaurant, so the town's not getting any meals tax. And and lodging is still, I guess the lodging's still open, but it's uh, uh, people aren't traveling. So we're really going to see a, a a substantial dip in income from the town and well, the county. We're definitely going to see a major uh, cutback in, in funds that we're going to be receiving from the uh <clears throat> meals tax and lodging taxes as and there's a lot of other foreseen taxes that you know we normally don't talk about but you know even even the property tax uh real estate taxes and things that that people are not going to be able to pay those real estate taxes because they're going to be coming due in another uh month and a month and a half right. so we're going to have a major issue with funding uh, coming up in the next three or four months yeah because it's going to be delay it's going to be uh, kind of like a ripple it's going to ripple down you know things it's going to take us probably 90 days to get back on our feet. And uh, once we, once that decision is made to open everything back up again, but uh, so things will trickle in slowly. So it's kind of like our, our fiscal year is going to be pushed. Uh, yes. It's three or four, six it, months in the future. It, it's really going to take a toll on the town. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't know what we're going to receive from the state of Virginia. Uh, we normally right now we're, we're receiving uh, money for our street maintenance, which is around two million a year. Uh, we're also receiving money for our police department through a five ninety nine, uh, which they call uh, uh, some mm -hmm. something that, that that they send money to us and we utilize it for the police department. So we don't know where, where we're going to be in that relationship. Uh, it appears that right now that uh, it's going to really be a downturn in the economy, and and when it's a downturn in the economy, we're going to feel the effects of it. Pretty heavily, right? Right. Well, we uh, know the state's going to hurt as well as the town. I mean, mm -hmm. less gas tax money, less, and people are going to be late paying their state taxes. You know, it all just kind of trickles down, mm -hmm. and you know they're going to this unemployment uh, uh, expenditures that they're going to hit. Uh, I'm sure the state will reallocate some of that budget money, and that's going to probably hurt us as well. Well, I'm sure it will be. You know, right now we are in a wait and see mode uh, at this time uh, with when it comes to funding. Uh, like I say, it's, it's going to be slow coming. It's going to be money that we're not going to see for a good while. But but we'll eventually, you know, have it worked out some sure, way. Sure, sure. Uh, and right now, uh, I talked to our manager and uh, Bill Seelock and myself yesterday, and we pretty much agreed that we need to begin immediately in looking at an alternate plan to, uh, of spending the money that we already have and make sure that we don't spend money that is not a 
necessity for the town's operation. So, so we're looking into that at this time and not, not spending any money that we feel is not needed at, at this time. Because uh, there are oil. emergencies. I mean, uh, in the power and water and sewer, we got to keep right. our infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, going. Uh, I think in any kind of uh, business turndown, which this is what this is, is uh, rule number one is conserve cash. And uh, I mean, no unnecessary expenditures. Well, I'm hoping that uh, we don't get to the point where we take money out of her reserves because right now, you know, our reserves are down some. Right. I mean, they're not up as they normally have been in the past, but I'm hoping that we can get through this and, and cut out a lot of expenditures that we have been, would be spending otherwise and, right. and just hold off of those until we see how the outcome's going to happen with money coming in from the state. Right. It seems like the construction world is still working. Yes, uh, and the, mm -hmm. I've seen the road maintenance crews out, and the buildings are still going up, and and those kind of things. So that's generating revenue for people and things. So uh, I think people have so far have accepted the uh, slowdown, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't know how much longer uh, it'll go, but uh, I think the president is is kind of hinted that there'll be some changes coming up in the next week or so. Well, I'm sure there'll be a lot of changes uh, for everyone. Um, whether we're in the uh, political arena or not. Uh, sure. But right now, as far as the town, we're still doing the things that we had been doing before. Uh, we're still maintaining our streets. We're replacing water lines, sewer lines, uh, and trying to correct our I, &I problem at this point. And sure. uh, nothing's really has changed as far as the operation of the town other than the actually finance department and, and our buildings are closed to the general public. Right, right. And so, so our trash is still going to be picked up and the water's still going to work and the flush the toilet and everything's going to work. At this point, we're hoping that everything else will be working just as like as nothing has ever happened. Well, good. Keep the lights uh, on. That's what we want. Keep the lights on and uh, keep the water running and okay. all the other things as long as we have the employees to do so. Well, you know, the... Uh, being in politics as long as you have and being in the, in the public eye, you know, the public gets all upset about things. But I think we need to keep a positive out or outlook. And I do know that uh, the town staff and town council is working hard. Uh, we talked to the county uh, as well, and mm -hmm. they're putting a lot of hours in on this thing and, and things that are going on behind the scenes that we really don't know about. And it's, uh, I expect, I would say your hair will turn white, but... I don't, I don't think that, you know, you might have a little less hair, but uh, it's a lot of work. It's a it, lot of work to take care of these emergencies. It is. It's a lot of work, and I'm getting anywhere between 10 and 20 emails a day and it, from others, such as Rick Farrell, who is the emergency coordinator for the county, and he's keeping us updated on the issues that are coming through and, and all those things like that. And then I'm also getting quite a few calls from some of the citizenry uh, asking questions and Hopefully that we can continue to do that and, and give them the proper answer they deserve because we're working for the general public and we want to keep things going as, as long as possible. And, uh, and we're, we're going to try to look out for any citizen in Front Royal, whether it's uh, old or young or m middle aged. So, so we're, we're trying to strive to work anything that we can do to help the public at this crisis that we're in at this point. Well, we appreciate all the hard work I know you and your staff are doing. We've published those notices from the town, and we're trying to keep our, our readers uh, posted with all the latest uh, mm -hmm. uh, announcements from the state and from the feds and the county and town. And uh, the Royal Examiner is, uh, you know, doing that. And I say we have a, we have a pretty good uh, – our readership is up 50 percent, so I guess that people are, are uh, looking at us and, and keeping informed of what's going on, so – Mm -hmm. Well, That's the good. people are interested in what's being done, right? and excluding myself, I'm interested in seeing how things are going to work out, and we don't know the answers at this point, but we're, you know, we're working towards a goal, a common goal, to get through this, uh, this issue that we have. The coronavirus is something that is all new, not only to the Front Royal, but every Worldwide. town and everybody <laughs> in the world, and right. so hopefully that one day we'll have a serum that that each one can take, and hopefully just similar to the flu shot that we normally take each year. Sure. But right now, we're, we're going through a trying time uh, with the public and with everything, and, and it's really going to hurt not only Front Royal, it's going to hurt the county, it's going to hurt the state, it's going to hurt the federal government, because yeah. without restaurants and, and motels and, and businesses being operational, then it's really going to take a toll on our economy 
because we've already seen that on the stock market, that right. the stock market is going down pretty much every day. One day it'll go up, but most of the time it, it drops uh, anywhere between It goes up thousand. one, goes down ten. <laughs> well, that's true, and that's good for some and bad for others. Well, you know, that's right. Uh, People always make money no matter which way it goes. There's somebody true. out there making money. That that's money true. doesn't disappear. It goes in somebody else's pocket. That's what I always that's say. That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> But well, just, Gene, let's keep a positive attitude on things. And I think that, like I said, the community is coming together uh, and helping each other out. I see that all the time. Uh, right. We're talking to the Rotary Club and the churches and, and different things like that. And they all seem to be uh, mm -hmm. so far pitching in and keeping a good positive positive outlook. Well, we keep got to keep a good positive ad outlook on things. Uh, you know, again, you know, we're in, in, in the middle of our new budget for the 21-22 year and uh, it appears right now that uh, we're looking at it uh, hopefully that we're going to have to cut non-essential items and some of the projects that we had discussed and and you know I'm kind of uh, glad that the public has come out and they have given us their ideas and hopefully that some of them we can utilize and and if we can get get this new budget approved before you know we we have to have it approved by July the first, and I think we'll be okay with that. But I'm hoping that we can sit down and discuss these issues and and make some cuts that it's not going to hurt the public, but uh, just keep our budget in, in line with the money that we're receiving from right. the state and from from the localities. Uh, well, this this time. year's budget will be a little fluid. I say it's going to have some red lines through it uh, as it progresses through the year. But I think you said, I think people are looking out to do the most important things first and, and keeping our utilities on and take, making us safe. And That's right. And, and, you know, the council, I know we've been criticized quite a bit from, the, from some people. But, you know, again, uh, you know, you got to wear the shoe before you can really criticize oh, I know, people. I know. It's a lot different uh, when you're on the other side. It sure is. <laughs> uh, it really is. Uh, and, you know, being in this, this unusual situation with the, the coronavirus, uh, we need to be patient with one another. We need to be patient with the council, and we need to work with the county. And and so that when we, when this is all done, we can all say we've done a good job for the general public. And uh, I think we can do that if we, again if we all work together to the common goal of getting through this uh, epidemic uh, of the coronavirus. And yeah. uh, unless we work together, nothing's going to be. Done in order on a positive scale. So we need to work together and make sure that we uh, get through this, and we will. We'll get through this this trying time. We've gone through things before, and not quite as substantial as this one, but we've had problems before. But with the help of the Lord and 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 uh, each other, we can get through this situation. Well, let's keep uh, on your prayer list. Let's keep our community leaders on our prayer list, as well as our state and federal uh, leaders, that they'll do the right thing and. And I'm sure they will. The Lord will watch out for us. That's all we can do at the moment. Gene, I really appreciate you coming in and keeping us up to date on what's going on in the town. And uh, you're mm -hmm. invited back anytime uh, there's something new. Uh, we'd like to have you drop on in and, and keep us up to date. Well, I'm glad I was asked to come because, you know, I want to keep the public up to date on what is being done. And I haven't come forward before other than the press release because we th really didn't know what was going on. We don't know on. what. The, it's it's too now, changing. Yeah. Now we know the governor has done what he has done, and so yeah. we know where we're headed. And uh, hopefully that, again, that we're all working together to the common goal, and that's to get through this massive problem that we have. And, right. and we could do that if working together. I know we will. We've gone through it before, and I think we'll all mm -hmm. the community will all come together and and uh, it'll, it'll it'll be good. Just keep a positive outlook. That's I always correct. say, this too shall pass. That's correct. It will. This too shall pass. Again, thanks a lot, Gene. Appreciate it. Thanks a it. lot, Mr. McCool.